my question though is what does this mean for Akello? Um has to mean something because Terrell Austin had William Jackson over with Cincy. And I even saw a report that he, mm-hmm. he's talking about William Jackson starting in week ten. That's that's what I'm <laughs> You, you heard who I, I said Mike Akello. Tomlin wonder William Jackson in the you, draft you see how Austin you see has I went right to, to the one I was like we're not gonna sugarcoat this we're not gonna play angle Kim I didn't read the Levi. article I saw mm-hmm. the That's, headline it said start not just I, I, play hey, I, I saw I'm, start I'm at your neck with it Deke what, what's going on with Akello because you know that's your dude now that, that's your Cam Sutton he's safe he green light game oh he yeah good. for sure Levi he's safe he green light game he good what's happening <laughs> Is he man now? What do you want me to say? I, I, I don't know. I mean, does, does he get a helmet? Is he, gonna, is he at least in a helmet? Oh, a helmet. Wow. Is he at least getting that? How many are we dressing this week? I mean, next week. Sutton? I Wallace, feel like they probably Pierre. like Pierre better for okay. depth, right? Okay. You said William. Because that's exactly what they were doing last year. Uh-huh. They kept Pierre around. And yeah. Weatherspoon was yeah. sitting, for the most part, the first half of the season. It might be. It's going to be interesting to see, bro. It's gonna be interesting, bro. And Levi, it's like it's weird because like when I watch Levi, he, he's been solid for us this year outside of the Bills game. Insert, but at the same time, it's certain parts of his game where he's still a little bit loosey goosey too, man. Like his consistency hasn't been what I would like to have been. But I still feel like they feel more comfortable with him right now because oh yeah, yeah, he's been playing at least more he's consistently. Yeah, just dropped too many picks. Whereas, in Miami whereas like Akello, it's been like. It ain't got kind of rough these past two ones, bro. Yeah, the Browns. No, you could even argue bro, the Patriots. Now he had amazing coverage on Aguilar yeah. and he lost him, but still the result's the result. Yeah. And he gave up chunk passing plays against the Patriots. It wasn't anything egregious, but he correct, had really correct. good coverage there too. Yeah. So I wasn't really alarmed after the Patriots. Because who was the game. one who got him? It was the Browns game. Uh, Cooper. It was, it was, uh, no, you're right. It was Aguilar. I forgot. I was Aguilar like, Moss. Like, right before super the Super weird. Like, how does this happen? It yeah. was in Witherspoon's hands too. Yeah. Which one was worse, you think, that one or, or, or Meek on Sunday? Uh, the Witherspoon one. Bro, I still don't understand why Jalen threw that ball. Like, terrible pass. It, it, I was so it worked out great, but so I'm just like, yo, this was the absolute worst. It decision. looked amazing because it like hit Brown and Stride Bro, and everything. Bro, you watch it on tape. He I'm like, right in the what double are coverage. you doing? And not just double coverage. They were in position. Yeah. Like, good coverage. I'm just like, bro, are you serious right now? Like, come on. So you wilding. No, yep. I like this Jackson move. I think overall Steelers did good yesterday. I would agree. I like think, an A. I think that they so made, I, I would agree. I think they did what they needed to do in terms of they got they they offloaded a talented but not really material right or not really living up to the full potential player for high value in terms of the second round draft pick. And then you bring in a corner that can help you right now. You wanted them in the past, and for the Steelers, they believe in their draft process. How many of these dudes do we, we talk about the Steelers? They love to build within the draft. They love to build within their own. Or how many guys that they love doing the draft process or loved at some point in time, and they go and get them. So it's like, man, they got this dude for a reason. They believe they can get something out of him for a reason. And the connection already with Terrell Austin, I don't, I don't see it as like a bad. I think it's low risk, high reward because, oh, especially sure. now knowing the contract wise, before the contract. I still don't know if we skeptical. know, though. I, I don't. I, don't, I know, do no. not know how. <laughs> All I know is the Wizard of Omar is still up there doing something with the numbers. I don't know how he does what he does, but somehow, some way, he does it. I don't know. I'm not going to ask too many questions, but I don't know. Today's show is brought to you by Manscaped, the leaders in below the waistline grooming, since it was on the screen right there. And with that being the case, Deke, let's make sure that we're taking care of our balls this fall. I know it's holiday season. I know you're thinking about that turkey. I love stuffing. But more importantly, Deke, we got to make sure that we keep our lower below the waistline regions looking like dessert, more importantly. And the best way to do that is with that Performance Package 4.0. So you definitely want to check that out and use the promo code, which is MOATS. It's 20% off, along with free shipping worldwide at manscaped.com. 